I would just try to record it because it's fun. <laughs> um, just a moment. Uh, yeah, I think it's live. Okay. So, hello, everyone. Um, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. It's the second time that I participate in uh, Django Girls live streaming. This time I'm uh, calling from Amsterdam. And um, I will share my screen now to show some, some slides, some things I would like to share about programming and some kind of advices. <laughs> OK. Now just let me see where I share my screen. Yeah. OK. Can you see my slides? OK. Thank you. Hi, so it's great to be with you, um, and this is a really quick talk just uh, with some important advices I consider um, for following a career as a programmer, as a developer. And uh, before I start, i just like to introduce myself. Uh, I'm Erica, and I am a PHP developer, but also a developer. Uh, I work uh, for DigitalOcean as a developer advocate. And I wrote a book about Vagrant called Vagrant Cookbook. And this is why I love programming. This is why programming is awesome for me. Um, because uh, you can create things from your mind, you know, you can bring ideas to life. And you, what you really need is a computer and internet most, most part of the time. Uh, so you can really create a lot of different stuff. And for me, programming is really something creative. Uh, that's why I love programming. Um, and I think that uh, programmers have some privileges other professions don't have. Uh, like we just need a computer and internet and um, some ideas, of course, and we can create something. Uh, and you can earn money from that. We can even uh, make a living completely independent. Uh, I used to uh, be an independent developer. I worked many years. Uh, so I developed a website to use AdSense on it, uh, advertising, and I could make a living out of that. So there are many different ways. Uh, where you can um, earn money and, and you know, um, so that's why I think programming is awesome. And I would like to share with you uh, five pro tips or advices uh, on how to be a better developer. Number one is uh, Programming is uh, something that uh, there is always something new in tech in general. Every week we have new devices, new APIs, a new programming language. So it's important that we uh, take time and try to learn something new every week. It, it doesn't need to be something huge, just something uh, detailed or something that you, uh, a new library or new something, <laughs> you know. Um, so this quote from Pablo Picasso I like because he says, I am always doing that which I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. And that's uh, that's a nice way to learn new things. Like you um, don't be afraid uh, if you are um, about to get involved in a project, for instance, and you don't know of exactly that language or that framework. But don't be afraid because that's how we learn new things, and that's amazing. Uh, number two is connect with other people. Uh, don't be isolated. Uh, try to connect with people from the community uh, of uh, the programming language you use or the frameworks you use. People, uh, people who does the same things that you do uh, that can help you if you uh, face some, uh, you know, problem, a bug that you cannot solve, something that you don't know where to look for answers and it's always important to have a good network of people so go to try to uh, visit meetups uh, local meetup groups and try to get involved and stay connected with other people if you want to go fast
online programming from books. Really, really need to practice it a lot. So, an another practice is worth more than tons of preaching, and that is completely true. Number four is make sure you have fun. Uh, fun is a really important asset for learning. It makes everything easier. And maybe you remember at school there was one teacher that was funny and had a funny way to, to talk, to teach things, and it was always different. Uh, at least I have these memories. And for me, it's really important that you find uh, a side project, something that is funny, doesn't need to be so serious all the time. And this is a quote from a famous blog post. Let's say programmers who don't code in their spare time for fun will never become as good as those that do. Because having fun is fundamental. Number five, the last one, is contribute to open source. We are uh, always using open source software, and a lot of people never think about contributing. And I know that it's it must it's it is scary at first, but you can <laughs> contribute also with documentation, with uh, tutorials, and uh, with other things too. It doesn't need to be only with code. <coughs> and uh, being involved with the open source community is something really important, and we will enrich your experience as a programmer because then you will have to discuss, talk with other people, and you will get also free code reviews, which is great when you make a pull request, which is awesome. And Tim O'Reilly says that empowerment of individuals is a part of what makes open source work. And that's true, because um, a good open source project will um, empower individuals, so they can achieve uh, a better level of programming and can help more. So this is also... Um, uh, when you have an open source project, you are uh, an open source author, uh, you have to help also others to get involved. Um, and so, these were my five advices. And I just wanted to say, also share this. Um, oops, I think I lost the screen. Uh, okay, I'm back. Um, can you see me? Yeah. Or is my yeah. screen yet? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, thank you for uh, having me. And if you need to know something, you want to know anything about DigitalOcean or about uh, anything, you can uh, write me at erica at digitalocean.com. And I really hope you enjoy the rest of the day and enjoy Django and the community, the Django community and the Python community at all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for your short talk. Thank you. Okay, thanks much. Bye. Bye.